Hey, this is Frankie from About Script. In the last video, we worked on using GDI Plus to create um, some ovals and some rectangles and stuff, just the very basics. Now we're moving on to drawing text onto our, our canvas object, this G here. So how this works is we just have this function, GDI, GDIP Text to Graphics. And what it does is you give it um, the G, all these functions need to receive this variable, um, and then you give it some text and some options for how you want it shown. So currently I have this uh, this cool little guy floating around here. And you'll see that even if I minimize windows and other things and go to the internet and stuff, he stays there. It's, he's his own window and he's set to always on top, although you can change if you like. So what we have is, um, is some text here. So we're going to change this text to, hey, I did it. Okay, feel free to do this yourself. If you can figure this out, you deserve a pat on the back for it. All right, and then um, if you've ever created any graphic user interfaces with the auto hotkey, um, the way that Tick, the man who made the library, set it up is that um, it works similarly. So if you want to set the X position and the Y position, you just put an X or a Y before the number. Um, C for color, R for resolution, which should be the same number as this up here, and um, S for size, which works like, if you're in Microsoft Word, you know 12 point font is the standard, although it's going to be very small when it's compared to a screen. So I have mine, I had mine set to 72. We're going to do this, and we're going to make it, we'll set the X position to about 350, which is somewhere around here, and our Y position, that's coming down from the top, to about uh, 200. Now, we want it to be fully opaque, so we set the, the opacity to the full amount, and then we can make up our color. So remember it goes red, green, and then blue. So if we want it to be red, we set it to FF, fully red, no green, and no blue. All right, and then we just need to set um, resolutions, we'll set it to four, and we'll set the size to 68. Why not, right? So we're going to close out of this one, and we're going to run it again. And you see it shows up on the screen there. So, you know, if you want to brag or just leave it there in case someone else comes to your computer, maybe they'll ask you, what did you do? And you can say, I wrote an auto hotkey script that writes text onto the screen. And they'll probably be speechless, all right? So in the next video, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, show uh, how to put an image on this canvas, on this imaginary canvas here. So we're going to load an image onto it, and then we'll go from there. Thanks, I'll see you next time.